Hello, everybody. I'm very excited to be chatting with Sachin, one of the co-founders of Big Heart. Uh, we've been investors in Big Heart for quite some time, nearly three, four years at this point of time. And uh, it's been a journey and a very exciting journey. We've been, uh, you know, super, we were super excited about the idea of what they were doing, about how they were going to be using technology to be providing good uh, quality inputs, timely inputs to farmers to sort of change how farming and farming uh, uh, supplies are managed in India, which right now is a messy thing, thus leading for to farmers to be empowered uh, and, uh, you know, being more productive, you know, moving up the value chain of sort of, uh, of their in, in income levels here. Yeah. So that was what was very exciting. Both Sachin and his co-founder Satish came with the passion to say that, look, we are, you know, uh, doing something in this space. We are really passionate about it. They had tried a lot of other stuff and they had then finally settled on this, this business model. And it's been a, it's been a, it's been a, you know, exciting journey to see how it has grown and how farmers have actually taken to, uh, uh, you know, uh, ordering online from Big Heart uh, and how the company has grown to say, from starting for saying that, look, I want to be giving farmers inputs to saying, how do I solve for what's happening in farmers' lives holistically? Yeah. So from, from advice to, you know, linking them to markets to, uh, you know, just, just a 360 of what a farmer may actually need over here, right? So Sachin, I'm super delighted to be chatting today, right? So I, I, I wanted to understand, you know, uh, you know as, as Big Heart grows, you know, I think one of the things uh, is in the farming community that is not talked about is, is the number of women that actually farm, but don't really get recognized. So as Big Heart grows and the community is expanding, you know, any insights around this yeah. uh, that you guys have? So thanks, uh, Rito. And for, uh, I would like to first thanks to you and Rema to believing on Big Heart and uh, be a part of our journey. And uh, I can say it's a very exciting journey. And uh, mm -hmm. while we started in 2015, we wanted to bring the impact in the farmer's life. And uh, while working in the last six years, we realized that 80% uh, farm holds uh, who are completely like one acre, one and a half acre. So their entire families are working together. They are fem uh, the female members of the uh, family they are playing a very active role, but uh, they are not being recognized. And I can say this is our ecosystem where uh, farmland, every decision making uh, is, farm, females members are taking the important role, but the records are on the uh, male's name. So that's where we thought like, okay, this is the right time to recognize, give the credit to them because they are doing the thankless job. And uh, uh, they are the key members, like they have to manage their family. At the same time, they are going on the field and uh, they are uh, helping uh, their uh, partner to get the right crop at the right time and uh, uh, manage uh, the different activities, whether it's the sowing time or it's the harvesting time. So they are equally participating in their uh, complete life cycle of the crop. So, oh, absolutely. Kudos yeah. to you guys for doing this. You know, at seven years back, when I first went out into the field, I was surprised at seeing all the men sitting under trees, chatting, whatever, drinking, whatever else, and the women all out in the field in the hot sun, working hard. So I'm glad to see that, you know, women who are doing a lot of the hard work in farming are actually, you know, now getting recognized and addressed uh, in, in terms of solutions, etc. cetera, yeah. Any, any, any interesting examples, Sachin, that you have seen in your journey that... Uh, you know, where women have actually leveraged technology and how they farm and, you know, obviously done well for themselves. Any any instances of that? Sure, definitely. I would like to share a few examples. Like one is the self-help group. So I can say like uh, even uh, the NBFC and others, they are believing on the women and uh, they are ready to give the credit to the women. So that means that is a credibility they have in the financial world. Second example, I will tell you like... Uh, uh, that is the involvement. Financially, they are involved. Now, if I talk about like last week, my team visited to the farm. Just let us example. We asked like, who is managing the farm? So husband told like, my wife is managing the farm and uh, he's, she is taking the right decision. I will give you very, this is the, I can say the farm level, but I'm saying the high tech, it means my CA. 
his uh, wife uh, is now handling entire uh, four acre farm uh, and they shifted completely like during covid they shifted to the uh, around 150 km far from the bangalore and now his wife is married so this is a classic example not even the marginal or small farmer but the new generation also are believing their family members um, and are taking the active role here so okay. and and uh, how do you see sachin that uh, you know uh, can we uh, you know uh, do, do you see women farmers coming onto your platform i mean it's starting to come onto your platform and uh, buying uh, and is there, you know, do, do we see more of that happening down the line? Coming up to women standing up, women farming, farmers standing up to sort of own their uh, position here as to what they're actually contributing. I will say, yes, we can, if I will compare 2015 to now. So 2015, yeah. it's a more on the list call engagement. So that's where uh, I will say the percentage of women uh, who was interacting with us was really less. But uh, with the digital penetration, 4G penetration, every household have a now smart devices. And uh, that's where now women are uh, looking the information, they are exploring this. And uh, I can, my personal experience, like they are suggesting that which product they should go, what question they should ask. And we have to understand one fundamental facts also, like uh, education point of view also in this family, women have well educated. And that's the reason they are playing the influencing role in the family because they are, and they are ready to explore the technology. Alone. They are ready to explore the life. So perhaps we are at the start of the journey where, you know, the silent workforce is going to step up here and claim their rights to being farmers in the yeah. coming days here, right? And it will be so, you know, exciting to sort of see how Big Heart actually, uh, you know, helps that happen and uh, pull a lot of women farmers into the forefront to recognize what they do. And this is just the start of an initiative. I yes, so I, I will say yes, Ritu. That's the reason today the, we were yeah. like, this was the idea which came from my team. And because we were they just last week visited and then they said, no, why not? We should recognize them immediately. And this is the right time. And I can say like, uh, yes, if we, this is a thankless of what they are doing it. It's our responsibility that yes, recognize them, create the awareness. And then let's the uh, world know that, yes, uh, they are playing Absolutely. the key role. And Sachin, you also have an interesting insight here of, you know, your team. Yeah. That's actually, uh, you know, advising everybody, men or women, on the forefront, right? Yeah. And, and tell us a bit more about that. Yeah, sure. So this is really is a very, uh, I can say, very, I'm, okay. I, I will see the statistics. Let me start from the leaders. I will say 50% my leadership, uh, females are the leaders, whether it's the sourcing, supply chain, it's a digital marketing, it's a technology, or it's the agronomy. So in each department, uh, women leaders are leading the key initiatives. And if you talk about the agronomy and uh, fasting, fasting is the uh, core team who are engaging with the farmers, they are agriculture graduate. And I will say not 99%, 100% team members are female members and they are very effectively working. And they feel that one of the key points I would like to highlight, they want to bring the impact in the farmer's life, the dedication they have. It's a, uh, I, can, I would like to appreciate, like, uh, it's, I can't see it. Uh, in, you can't see it in the men in the team, is that what you mean to say? <laughs> So, um, and they are working like they are uh, beyond the boundaries. They are coming morning nine o'clock. They are working till seven o'clock. Even now, they started coming on the Sunday also. So that's the ownership they are taking. Right, right, right. No, it's actually amazing to sort of hear. And you know what better time to be talking about this uh, than on Women's Day? Um, you know, uh, whereas I think we got started to make an impact on the lives of farmers. It's really great to sort of see how the impact is, you know, you, you're actually taking the word farmers to a larger level to actually include the people who have been the silent farmers at the back. And I look forward to the next four or five years when Big Heart actually, you know, caters to and brings all of these silent farmers to the forefront here. So thank you, Sachin. Great to sort of chat and, you know, Thanks, uh, you. look forward to the next five years of the journey as to how this all evolves. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, Ritu. Looking forward to make it more impactful. Thank you.